Okay then, what is a double countersink screw? Good question. It's not actually the correct term that we're supposed to use for that, but it's just been shortened, and I'll show you why it's been shortened. Let's remove these. A double countersink screw, its actual correct saying is double cell countersinking head. That's what it is, because it has ribs underneath to help it countersink in any place. So, what I'll do is, right, here, I'll get some screws, and I'll bring some screws up, and I'll show you the screws, what's, what the ribs are like underneath them to help countersink them in any place, and the differences in them as well, the ribs. Okay then. Right. Double self countersinking head. It doesn't say with ribs, but that's what it's proper saying is. The reason is, it's too much a mouthful to say all that, and this is why they just get called double countersink head, or double, just double countersink. So, for the uninitiate, the uninitiate, uh, for the people who don't know, we'll leave it too big a word, can't say it. So what we'll do is, I'll show you with two screws. This is a Turbo 2 screw, and this is a Reser cutter screw. And I'll show you the slight differences on the actual heads of them and point it out why they just double countersink and actually what the ribs are for. Okay then. Right then. If we look along here, oops, dropping that one. Over there. This is the Reser car. Reser is it? Yeah, Reser car. As well, that's the name of the screw. And what it has is, on here, it actually has little fins. Uh, I'll put a shadow on there, I'll get rid of that. No, I'll come to this side. And the ribs actually run up and down. Most of them, on the majority of screws, like here, they run parallel up and down, meaning it's just straight. But on this one, they actually run at different angles. I'll try and get this into view. They don't just run up and down, they also run at an angle here. And I'll try to get this into shot. Some screws have them at an angle, and a steeper angle, all the way around. And this is to help so it countersinks into the actual wood. This is why they're called self-countersinking heads on them. And of course, the different degrees or thicknesses on the ribs, depending on what you want, or depending on how they work. And as I said, this one here is these two are roughly about the same, I would say, on them. And of course, this has got tucks on it, little bits that stick up, which acts sort of like as a breaker to break into the fibre, the grain of the wood, sorry. And also, they help lock it into place as well. Thing is, do they actually work? all this technology well that's another story for another time i suppose because they do and they don't so what i'll do now is i'll actually show you now them going in so i'll just go in and get the impact and i'll realign this turn it around a bit get rid of these two now i've got to be at some distance away from the actual camera because i'm going to be using an impact but i'm using hydraulic drive Okay then, so we'll put in first the reset car. Now, at this junction point, I've stopped because I'm going to take it in slowly. Sometimes if you go too fast, it works and it doesn't work. It's one of these, you've got to figure this out yourself with these screws. But I'm going in slow. There, you see? So a bit further. Yeah. Now, this has been a real bad plick up job, as per usual, you see? This wood, very grainy, you see? So now I'll get rid of that and I'll put in a Turbo 2 screw in place and let's see what that does. There you go. As I said. There you go. Now, bring it over and we'll have a look at it.
Right, as you can see, you've got tiny little bits of plick. This here is almost sitting flush, but this one isn't. So I'm going to drive this one in a little bit more to see if we can break them things free. But I'll have to move the camera again. Let's move a bit. Wait. Oh, wrong bit on it. Just made the whole situation worse. So you see, sometimes they do work and sometimes they just don't work. Although in saying that, it has actually broke away quite a bit of it. Right then. So now you've actually seen it and you've seen how they go in. That's the idea and that's what a double counter sink screw actually is. And it's just been shortened basically by people. And some people will say, ah, but wait a minute, they're flat heads because they're that type of head on them, they're flat. Yeah, that's true, they are flat heads. One thing though with that, not one of these boxes up here, the screws, actually says the flat heads on them. Nowadays, they're known as just double countersink screws because there's so many different types of drive systems nowadays. You've got your Star Drive, your Phillips, your Posi, you've got KTX Drive, and you've got a new one coming out from, I think Phillips, 3-bit, Posi, Oh, some odd drive. It's a new one that they're bringing out. So God knows what, where it will end up. But that's the drive method. We're on about the countersinking head, the double countersink head. That is what it is. It's just the ribs, basically, underneath to help itself countersink. That's it. Okay, then. Thanks for watching. I hope I've been helpful. Hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. And bye now.